welcome First Family, Mrs. Robinson, Mrs. Obama, Sasha Malia, welcome, Merry Happy Holidays, and Merry Happy Holidays to you, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Is everybody a little wet, but still having fun? Well, our main job today is to light the National Christmas tree, and so we're going to need a little help from you to count it down. Uh, we're going to start at five. Yeah, let's do five. Since it's a little wet, we shouldn't start at ten. All right, so everybody ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Are you all ready? Yeah. And you all are ready. Here we go. A love story. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, and I threw open the shutters, and I opened up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. And when what to my wondering eye should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, as course as they came, and he whistled and he shouted them and called them by name. Now Dasher, oh. now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So, up to the housetop, as courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and uh, St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the <laughs> roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. <laughs> As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, <laughs> and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His <laughs> cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. <laughs> That's so cute. He's very cute. And his droll little mouth was just drawn up like a bow, and his beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> 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 he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head and soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work mm -hmm. and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose, <laughs> he gave a <laughs> nod and up the chimney he rose. He <gasps> sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. Whoa. 
but I heard him exclaim oh. as he drove out of sight, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all, all and, and to all, all a, a good, good night. night. That was magical. Wow. Ah, Bravo. So much joy. Bravo. So much joy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, this show is always a, a great way to get in the holiday spirit. Every year, I rehearse my own little act, just in case. But it seems like, yet again, they couldn't find space to squeeze me in to the program. Uh, you are lucky I'm not singing. Uh, first of all, first of all, let me thank Secretary Jewell uh, and welcome her to her first Christmas tree lighting. She is doing a great job for our national parks. She used to run one of America's biggest outdoor recreation companies, and now she's charged with protecting the great outdoors for all of us. So we appreciate her, and we want to thank Neil Mulholland and the whole National Park Foundation and National Park Service team for helping to put uh, this beautiful production together. Let's also give it up for Jane Lynch and all the great performers who are doing an incredible job putting us in a festive mood tonight. And to all Americans who are here today and watching at home, we are so glad to be part of this wonderful holiday tradition. For 91 years, the National Christmas Tree has stood as a beacon of light and a promise during the holiday season. During times of peace and prosperity, challenge and change. Americans have gathered around our national tree to kick off the holiday season and give thanks for everything that makes this time of year so magical. Spending time with friends and family and spreading tidings of peace and goodwill here at home and around the world. And this year, we give a special measure of gratitude for Nelson Mandela, a man who championed that generosity of spirit. You know, in his life, he blessed us with tremendous grace and unbelievable courage. And we are all privileged to live in a world touched by his goodness. You know, each Christmas, we celebrate the birth of a child who came into the world with only a stable's roof to shelter him. But through a life of humility and the ultimate sacrifice, a life guided by faith and kindness towards others, Christ assumed a mighty voice teaching us lessons of compassion and charity that have lasted more than two millennia. He ministered to the poor. He embraced the outcast. He healed the sick. And in him, we see a living example of Scripture, that we ought to love others not only through our words, but also through our deeds. It's a message both timeless and universal. No matter what God you pray to or if you pray to none at all, we all have a responsibility to ourselves and to each other to make a difference that is real and lasting. We are our brother's keeper. We are our sister's keeper. And so on this season of generosity, let's reach out to those who need help the most. In this season of reflection, let's make sure that our incredibly brave service members and their families know how much we appreciate their sacrifice and their several military families and service men and women here tonight. We are so grateful to you for all that you do. In this season of hope, let us come together as one people, one family, to ensure that we're doing everything we can to keep America the land of endless opportunity and boundless optimism for which we're so thankful. So on behalf of Malia, Sasha, Marion, the First Lady Michelle, plus Bo and Sonny. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a joyful holiday season. God bless you. God bless our troops. God bless the United States of America. <laughs>